Hello and welcome back to another Star Wars the deck building game live stream. I don't think I've ever said that before, but I am here with Jason. We're going to be playing Star Wars the deck building game, the new game out from FFG designed by Caleb Grace. How are you doing, Jason? I'm fantastic. I am so ready. I am so pumped. I spent all day and night learning this game and I, I can't wait to play it. So <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I have actually learned the game. And so we will go over it just in case. <laughs> you calling my bluff already? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> but we'll go over the rules just in case you or someone watching hasn't uh, done, hasn't read the rule book. So just, just yeah, in case, it, but it's the, it's the chat's fault. They don't know the game, so it's not fair to them. <laughs> Speaking of the chat, hey, Beast No, how's it going? Don't make me buy this game, please, dude. This is like 40 bucks. You can buy it. It's easy. It's, it's Support Caleb. It's a great game. Yeah. What, yeah. what What are the magic words I need to say? <laughs> it's fun. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let, let's, uh, let's talk about Star Wars, the deck building game, a little bit. So this is a game that was recently put out by Fantasy Flight Games. It is not an LCG. So I typically play LCGs on the, the channel where you construct a deck pre-game and then you go into the game and pilot that deck. This is not that type of game. This is a game where you're starting with 10 starting cards. And throughout the game, you will be buying and adding new cards into your deck in order to achieve victory it's also not a cooperative game it is a head-to-head -head competitive game so jason and i this is actually i think the first competitive game we've ever played jason yeah this is gonna get ugly really fast because <laughs> I, I play the win and it's, it, it's gonna be bad i might cheat <laughs> <laughs> i might cheat nice uh, so it's a competitive game. It's a head-to-head -head game where one person plays the Empire. That's going to be Jason for our first game. We're going to try and play two games tonight, and we'll we'll switch after the first game. So the the Empire is played by Jason this first time, and then the Rebellion, the good guys, the you know the uh, protagonist of the stories is played by me. The Empire, the Empire. <laughs> that's the protagonist of the story. We all seen the movie. We know the real winners, <laughs> right? And. <laughs> I, I probably should talk about this before I shuffle all of these cards. But the way <laughs> that the game works is if you have played a deck builder before, similar to Dominion or Star Realms or Ascension or anything like that, you are going to be buying cards that will get added into your deck that will give you a new effect on your uh, on the next deck pass. So if we're looking here at Cassie and Andor, this is a card that we could buy. It would cost us five resources, cards that we have in our hand that we were playing can give us resources which we can then buy here and then next time we play them we will get five fight the fight can be assigned to multiple different places we can fight to destroy bases which is the ultimate end goal of the game is to destroy three of your opponent's bases or you can fight and kill cards out of trade row which is i think my favorite mechanism and we'll get into that here a little bit more in a second they're also going to have an ability. So like Cassian Andor says, when Cassian Andor defeats a target in the galaxy row, your opponent discards one card from their hand. So I guess this is actually a great time to talk about this. <laughs> so <laughs> there are going to be three types of cards. There are blue cards, empire cards. There are rebel cards, the red cards. And then there are neutral faction, the gray cards. The Some of the art, this is one of the things that I... I I had commented on, my wife and I commented on when we were playing, is that some of the art can look a little uh, deceptive, where there'll be blue mm. in the background of some of the rebel cards. So what I typically do is I look right here and see the, the rebel symbol, the empire symbol, or no symbol to determine okay. the faction. And so that that's a little bit easier for me um, with some of the cards that I, if I, I'm not just looking at color. Right, right, right. So there's going to be six cards in trade row and similar to like an ascension style deck building where you buy a card and it gets refilled from the deck of cards. Um, it's going to be like that where you have the option to buy one of six different cards in trade row. I can only buy the red cards and Jason, you can only buy the blue cards. However, okay. I can... We can both buy the gray cards. The gray cards okay. can buy, be bought by either of us. However, the coolest part about this game, in my opinion, is I cannot buy this blue card. However, I can shoot it. I can destroy it out of trade row by assigning four fight to it. So casting gives me five. I could assign four fight, and that will destroy it from trade row. 
automatically refill. So it does two things. It it prevents you from ever being able to buy that card, and it also will give me a reward that is printed on the card. So this reward says exile up to two cards from your hand or discard pile. That means take them out of the game. They are no longer in your deck. That's how that works. So hmm. okay. some of some of the rewards will give you money, some of the rewards will give you force points. All the all the cards are a little different. And so we're playing through like the Millennium Falcon comes up. I really want it. Jason really doesn't want me to have it because he's the bad guys. And so he's going to want to shoot that out. But that is removing a fight that could be assigned to my base. So we are both starting with one base in play. I'm starting with Dantooine. And what are you starting with? Uh, Lothal. Lothal. Yeah. Lothal. And these each have hit points. I think yours is eight as well, correct? Yeah, yeah. So mine is eight down here. This is how many fight needs to get assigned to that base before it is destroyed. Once your base is destroyed, at the start of your next turn, you have a hand of different bases that all have different effects that you will place into play at the start of your next turn. Once you have destroyed three of your opponent's bases, you are declared the victor. So you're not going to play with all of these, but you will choose one, or you'll choose two different ones to put into play after they get destroyed and that's how that's how the game ends but what I, I i really like this as well because some of these like really lean into a specific strategy so if you find found yourself buying all of the gray cards there are specific bases that lean into and incentivize you for playing the gray cards but you would never play that if you're buying all the rebel cards and so it's a, right. it's a pretty tactical decision so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend I'm chat because of course I don't have these questions at all. Yeah, uh, but yeah. I think chat might. Yeah. Um, so so in the row, you don't have to one shot it, right? Can you just slowly do damage to it, or do you have to one shot it? In the row, you have to one shot it for bases, and um, these are the capital ships. Capital ships are go out in front of you. They give you a passive benefit as well as are the buffer to any damage on your base think of it as like the active location lord of the rings damage has to be assigned yep. to your capital ship before it's assigned to your base um those can be slowly whittled down however okay. if you wanted to take out cassian andor you would have to assign five or more fight directly to cassian andor and the way that this would work is like if you had the falcon um you could assign the five fight to Cassian to destroy it. However, if you had mm -hmm. like say the Dingar and the X Wing, so this has four and this has three, you had have mm -hmm. to assign all seven to destroy Cassian. You can't split it up. However, it will overflow okay. for destroying a capital ship to a base. So if you had like seven fight and I wanted to attack a capital ship that had eight life left, or I'm sorry, three life left. I would assign three, and then four would roll to your base. Okay. Hopefully that makes when sense. When we when we play like Chewbacca, well, when you play yeah. Chewbacca, do you play him and you're one and he's done, or does he stay out there on the table? He will stay out there. Or, I'm sorry, he is one and done. So he will. You will play him at the end of your turn. You will gather everything that you have played and place it in your discard pile. Whenever you cannot draw from your deck, you will shuffle your discard pile and then draw a new hand of cards. The only exception to that are the capital ships. Whenever you play okay. the capital ships, you they will stay out there until your opponent destroys them. Then okay. they typically okay. give you a, a benefit as well as potentially resources and or fight every round. So like this Imperial Carrier gives you three money at, at every round as well as the turn that you play it. And it says the Imper when the Imperial Carrier is in play, each of your fighter units gains plus one fight. Okay. So I'm incentivized to take this out pretty quickly or else you'll just overrun me. Let's look at the iconography on one of the cards, which I think is kind of the last thing. It's actually a pretty simple game, which is nice. Um, but let's look at Jabba. So Jabba the Hutt is a neutral faction card. Hey, the Brant. It's never bad to have some reason not to buy another game. That being said, there are multiple solo rules on BGG already. Perfect. Yes. There you go, Beast. No. <laughs> Excellent. How you done, Brant? Done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so Jabba the Hutt, he costs eight money to add into your hand. 
And then we're going to go down the side here and look at the different icons. So this first one says that it gives you two fights. You can assign Jabba to a fight to either take out something in the galaxy row or hit a base slash capital ship. He will give you two uh, credits. Credits are depicted by these yellow cubes. Whenever you play Jabba, take two yellow cubes and just put it in like a personal supply. And you would have that to buy cards for uh, the rest of the round. And then lastly, this last icon here is force points. So this is two force points. Whenever you play Jabba, you will move this cube two points towards yourself. And this will have implications on cards that are played because there will be cards that will say, if the force is with you, meaning that it's on your half of the force track, or if you have, if it's all the way at the end of the force track, at the start of your turn, you get an additional resource. So you mm. want the force to be with you um, because... There's some cards that are pretty powerful if the force is uh, if the force is with you. Wait, like stormtroopers, right? They're yes. like probably yeah. the strongest cards. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Only only if it's Finn. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's true. I forgot about him. <laughs> Hopefully, he's in the starter deck. <laughs> yeah. So we, there there are a lot of iconic characters not in the game yet. So I assume that we will get an expansion at some points, but. Right now, we have, I mean, like, the two big names that I've seen are Luke and Vader, which, I mean, Let's go. They're, on the, they're on the sleeves. These are some of the sleeves that I got from buying from a local game store. Must be nice. Must be nice. <laughs> okay, where do I put my base? Also, can I just, like, slip Vader into my deck now? Is that allowed? You could try, yeah. I, I wouldn't know. Oh, my God. Yeah, right? I mean, <laughs> you'll just be like, oh, I guess that's a starter card. Why not? <laughs> the last thing for setup, we have these Outer Rim Pilots. So these are similar to... I don't even remember what they're called uh, in the other game. But the Outer Rim Pilots are just a stack of the same card. They cost two, and whenever you play them, they generate two. And then they have an effect. You can exile this unit to gain one force point. But those are just kind of an always available stack. And then we are going to deal out six cards to start us out. The Empire always takes the first turn. So you ready? Because they're, they're the good guys. Yeah, they're no, the good guys. Sense. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so the first card that we have is De De uh, Director Krennic. So he faces you this is this is typically how i'm gonna actually keep this face up but typically when you're sitting down you're playing across the table from someone you would force you would face the card towards the player who could buy it and then the the text on the defeating the card is then right side up for the the other player but i'm just going to keep it right side up so everyone can kind of see it a little bit easier we got the z95 headhunter the snow speeder. What, uh, wait, what? What's like the traits of each one? Uh, office. Uh, so like the first one was me. The oh, oh yeah, next. yeah. Empire, neutral, rebel. Okay. We got the U wing, which is a rebel. One, two, three, four. We got the death trooper, which is empire. And we got Moff, Jer, 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 Jer Gerard, which is empire. Speed. So we we have a starting hand, our starting deck of ten cards, which are pretty pretty sad cards. Shuffle those up. Hand size is five, so you draw five, and we're off to the races. It's a it's a really easy setup. It's a really easy game to just kind of pack and play. So I always appreciate games with low setup time. As you're sitting here trying to find all yeah, the right. cards. Like, like, oh my god! <laughs> I need, a, not, I need like, to put these alphabetical. <laughs> yeah, if you're not streaming it, it's a t it's it's typically pretty. It's a easy. great game. Yeah, yeah, it's a great game, man. <laughs> Where the heck is this last guy? Moth. Moth. Not Grand Moth. No. Just regular Moth. Just regular. Just old. Good just, old just, regular just, Moth. Just Moth. There's a Moth. Holy cow! Okay. All right. So I draw. What was it? Five. You said. Mm-hmm. Five. Oh, thank goodness they're all free. Okay. <laughs> and the, and right. that is that is also something to note. 
The cost in the top left corner is the cost to buy it and add it to your deck. After that, you never have to worry about that cost again. You can freely play it whenever. Oh, you that's good. Okay, so once once it's in your hand, you're good. You're just, you're literally just buying from the market. Yep, you're buying from the market. When you buy from the market, it goes to your discard pile. When you cannot draw, you shuffle everything and you'll draw back up. So on the next time you see it, the cost is irrelevant. You're ready to play it. You've already hired Director Krennic or paid for and cool. acquired Director yeah. Krennic. All right. So you have a U-Wing, a U-E, and a exile one card from your hand or discard pile. Oh, because you want to thin out your deck. I mm -hmm. get it. Mm -hmm. I get how this game works. Okay. <laughs> the other thing to, to remember is that whenever you destroy a card or buy a card, it immediately gets refilled. So you have the option to destroy or buy the card that fills its place. Okay. Um, and can I just, like, attack your base now if yeah. I really wanted to? Yeah, absolutely. So I guess the real question is, is that a smart strategy? <laughs> um, all right, a, first, a, a first time deck builder player? What a magical time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So let's do... Do we take turns going back and forth, or do I do my entire thing? Yep. So you'll play out your entire hand, and then it will be my turn. So you'll play all the cards, get the resources, buy everything, do whatever you okay. want. At the end of so, your turn, you'll draw back up, and I will, I'll will. i take a turn after that. All right. So, for example, I'll play Imperial Shutter, Shuttle. Uh, this gives me a resource, right? So I just take yep. a, a thing. All right, cool. And then I'll play an Imperial... Sh shuttle and i'll just get another resource yep and then i'll play an imperial shuttle and i just i'll just get another resource yep all right so oh the, that's the force okay so now i can use these three to buy something right correct all right i want to use three monies to buy this death trooper and he okay. goes to my discard he goes to your discard pile and we will okay. immediately fill it up with blaze malvis so he gains plus one fight for each rebel base in your opponent's victory pile. It's a two cost, two fighter. Right, two cost, blaze, blaze and the monster machines. Okay, so oh, bays. Um, okay, so <laughs> there I am doing my just see what the word looks like because that's <laughs> apparently how I read. <laughs> that that's how I do it too, so that's cool, man. <laughs> um, all right, so then I'm gonna play an Inquisitor, and I'm gonna I get to choose which one I want to do. I want to do the the Force, so okay. I can get the Force toward me a little bit, right? Yep. So it moves one space towards you on the track. Okay, excellent. And then I'm gonna play a Stormtrooper. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot Bays. Okay. In the so face with the Baze two gets destroyed. You get one force for the reward because it has the reward of whenever you destroy it, you get one force point. So we're going to move Excellent. that one closer to you. And then it's going to get refilled with the Sea Rock Cruiser, the three cost capital ship. And that's all, uh, that's all my cards. Nice. I like discard one card from your hand to repair three damage from your base. That feels fairly good to me. So I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna play three capitals or alliance shuttles to get three money. I'm gonna go ahead and let's spend the three money to buy the Sea Rock Cruiser. No. That's gonna get immediately refilled with the Fang Fighter, which is another neutral card. Right, okay. And we will play the Temple Guardian, which is the. The card where I get to choose if we if I want fight, resources, or force points. I'm going to choose a force point to bring that force just a little bit closer to me. And then I'm going to play a rebel trooper for two fights. And I'm going to hit your base for two. No, Those... I think that's illegal. I don't think you're going to do that. <laughs> it, it straight up literally is illegal. Like the rebels yeah. are not allowed to destroy uh, the Empire. Not, not this early in the movie. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Um, so damage is depicted with the purple cubes. Seven cent yep. pretzel. How is it going? I'm doing good. How are you doing? And so now I draw five cards. I have. Oh, I should a draw new five hand. too. I guess. 
three, four, yeah. five. Okay, so the second it's empty, we shuffle? Or when, when we have draw. to draw again? When you okay. would draw. And while I said that confidently, I am going to recheck that as you take your turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I get to go first. All right, so what we're going to do is win. Win, Ooh. Rocky, win. You think so? Uh, eh, well, maybe. Um, okay. We're going to play an Imperial Shuttle and get a money. And then I'm going to play an Imperial Shuttle and get a money. And then I'm going to play an Imperial Shuttle and get a money. And uh, I'm going to play an Imperial <laughs> Shuttle and get some money. Okay, Ooh. so now... I know you never saw this coming, but... Also, yes, I... you shuffle when you need to draw. Okay. Um... Does money carry over or no? Do I lose? You discard okay, all so the have... resources at the end of your turn. Yep. All right. So I'll use all the money to buy Moth. <gasps> Ger Gerard. That's going to get filled in with Lobot. What's that? Neutral? It's a neutral three cost card. Three cost. Okay. Breaking and entering vandalism and treason. Exactly. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> Rebel scum. <laughs> This is so mean. All right, then I'm gonna. Uh, Stormtrooper is going to actually hit uh, you for okay. two damage. So, so that's I'm gonna throw two damage on Dantuin, bringing me down to six life left. Ugh, destroying you. Okay, so all that gets discarded. That's the end of my turn. And you hand then draw five new cards, but I can't because I have to shuffle. Yep. And I control. Okay. Cool. Now it's your turn. Excellent. Uh, so, this is like the heaviest game I've ever played. This is tough. <laughs> <laughs> that that is sarcasm. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. I guess people should know. In case you don't know me, <laughs> considering you played, what what would be the heaviest game you've ever played? Uh, probably a Lacerda game. So, oh, okay. um, probably Lisboa. It's probably Lisboa. one of the heavier games I've played. Okay. Yeah, yeah I guess on Mars. I I've never done on there. Mars. I want. I want to do it because uh, I heard it's rough. It's really good. I, it's I really really it. good. I've never played the solo version, but I have played multiplayer. It's it's solid. I played yeah, on. I, want... I played on Mars over Zoom with an overhead camera with sheer boredom, Roberto. That was that's crazy. Yeah, that was not. That was that was too much. It was six fun. hours, five hours. Uh, I How think it was about six. Take? I think it's about six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was being sarcastic. No. <laughs> I'm gonna spend. Uh, I'm gonna play four land shuttles, which gets me four resources. I am going to. Ooh, what is the thing? When you purchase the unit, add it to your hand and draw one card. If the force is with you, the force is not with me though. Loser. Um, right. I'm gonna go ahead and grab. I'm gonna spend two resources to play uh, to buy the snow speeder. We are going to mm -hmm. refill with the Jawa scavenger. So this is a. Two resource, exile this unit to purchase a card in the galaxy discard pile as if it was in the galaxy row. That being said, I need to separate discard pile in your hand because I was just throwing them all in one pile. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Um, I'm going to spend one to grab Jawa Scavenger. That's going to fill in with Boba Fett. Uh-oh. Don't like that. What's he, a five? He's a five, yeah. And then, I don't know. It's like I don't want to like load myself down with too much. So I'm I'm gonna just play a rebel trooper and hit your base for two more. Two more. All right. So I'm halfway dead. Whoa, whoa. you're halfway dead. Classic. Now my right. now my stream has gotten copyright strike. Oh, yeah, you're done. Twitch is coming after you. <laughs> He's a 5, but his TV series was a 2.5 at best. <laughs> Absolutely barbaric. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, my turn? Yeah. All right. How much does your planet have left? How much life? Six? Uh, six. Yep. All right. So I'm going to play a Death Trooper. Um, so while the Force is with me, which it is, he gains two extra attacks. So I'm going to hit you for five. Woo! Ouch. Death Trooper, let's go. <laughs> All right, so we did that. Um, I am going to use three Imperial shuttle, Shuttles, because I guess I shouldn't play one at a time because that gets boring, uh, to <laughs> get three monies and then add it to your hand. 
Okay. So then I'm going to use all three monies to play this Fang Fighter. Okay. And I'll let you fill in before I do the text on it because it's got yep. fun text. It's a blockade runner. Neutral? Neutral. Capital ship. Okay. So, um, okay. So the Fang Fighter says when you purchase a unit, add it to your hand. Okay. And then I get to draw one card if the force is with me, which it is. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wait, what's the galaxy deck? Is that the thing in the row? No, that's that's the 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 big deck of all the face down cards over here that we're filling in with. Okay. Ooh, okay, this card gets a little tricky. Because it says look at the top card of the galaxy deck. If the force is with you, you may swap that card with a card from the galaxy row. Interesting. Mm, okay. Um okay, so what I'll do is I'll just I'll just show it to you. I'll close my eyes and I'll just hold it up to the screen. I think that's the best that we can yeah, do virtually. Uh, that's 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 fine, yeah. Um okay, so oh wait, that's money. Do I want money? Money useful? Yeah, money. Okay, so we're gonna play Moth, right? So this do I I get to do his special ability too, right? The text on that card. Yeah, so whenever you activate the special ability, you rotate it. You, you exhaust okay. it. All right. Um, all right. I guess first we'll do his top left. So I attack you for two more. Okay. So that's going to destroy Dantooine, and you get this. And at the start of my next turn, I will choose a new base. Oh, I can't just keep murdering you? Correct. There is a little bit of um, <laughs> stoppage <sighs> there. You have to find me again. <sighs> That's ridiculous. All right, so then I get two monies. All right, and now I'll tap it to look at the top card of the Galaxy deck. If the Force is with me, you may swap that card with a card of the Galaxy Row. Can you see it? Uh, okay. Um, no, I don't want to swap anything. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, I do. Yes, okay. I do. Um, swap out your the U-Wing okay. with that card. The Duro Spy. Uh, what was his cost? Because it was not what I was looking at, too. Okay, so... What we'll do is we will use... Um, the two money... Well, I get really one money, sorry, not two. To buy the Z95 Headhunter. Okay. That's going to get filled in with the U-Wing that you just put back. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Match Moosman, how's it going? Jedi Nelson and Jedi D20. That must be the intense dueling they're talking about. Yes. Yes. It is intense. All right. So um, I can use two cards and add up the attack to attack something, right? Yes. Yes, you can. All right. So we'll use the Fang Fighter. And a stormtrooper to do five damage onto the U Wing. Okay. And I get four monies for that. Yep. And then that fills in with an X Wing. Uh, is that yours, X Wing? Yeah. Yes. X Wing. Okay. Then I will use. All my money, all five of it, to hire. Oh, well, well, wait. <laughs> At first, I thought that was a Dura spy, and I was like, wait, what are Klingons doing in this game? <laughs> um. Hmm. Let's do. Now, I'll spend all my money to get Director Krennic. Alrighty. That's going to be filled in with a B-Wing, which is also our Rebel. Five? Yep. Okay. Alright, and that's that's finally everything for me. That's all I can do. Okay, my next base is Hoth. So, Hoth gets destroyed after 14 damage, and while Hoth is your base, prevent the first two damage dealt to Hoth each turn. Because I'm afraid of your damage potential. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, uh, that was a, that was a fluke. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just throwing cards out there, just hoping for the best. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> okay, so 
I'm going to play the Snow Speeder. Your opponent discards one card from their hand. We're going to go ahead and use that ability. We're going to play Can I choose which one it is? Yes, 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 yes. I got it. I'm going to play the Sea Rock Cruiser, which is a capital ship, meaning that it's protecting my 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 base. That gives me Don't one. Like and I got three more. The Alliance Shuttles for four money. Which is, could be the Blockade Runner. Um... Or that X Wing looks pretty sweet. I I still don't know when to ramp in this game. Like when do I need fight and when do I need buy? And it's always just like My strategy is just fight. That's all I know. <laughs> I, I love that. I'm gonna spend two to buy the Duros spy the Klingon. That's going to get replaced with the snow speeder. I'm going to go ahead and spend two to buy the snow speeder. And then we got the Gonzanti cruiser, which is a three cost capital ship for you. Okay. And that's going to be, oh, and two fight to your base. Uh, okay. Oops. Uh, so six damage out of eight. Let's go. Okay. Um, All right, I'm going to play four monies to buy the blockade runner. Okay. That gets that's, filled that's in it. with another X-Wing. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> All right, that's the end for me. Okay. So I have the Sea Rock Cruiser, which gives me a money. I'm going to spend three Alliance Shuttles for three more money. And then we got... Got four fights. Unfortunately, I can only use two of it. So we're gonna throw two fight at you. She'll destroy your base. No, Lothal, <laughs> the great state of Lothal. The great state of Waffle. Wait, um, Waffle. <laughs> the Waffle. Yes. Hey, Maurice, how's it going? Just hopping in. Does this play like Star Realms? Yeah, it's it's similar. Where it's a back and forth head to head deck builder. Yep. 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 It takes place in space. Takes space like Star Realms. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna spend three. We'll go ahead and buy one of these X Wings, and that's gonna be replaced with a Rebel Transport. Jeez, it's all coming up Millhouse right now for right? you. Right? It was nice. It's nice now. What's the cost of that Rebel Transport? It's a two cost Rebel Transport. Mm, the old two cost Rebel Transport. How you doing, Maurice? There it is. Okay. All right. My turn? Your turn? My turn? Yep. Your turn. Okay. Let oh, I got to put a planet or a thing in, right? Before I do anything else. Uh... All right. So I got to do it, right? I got... Hey, I get to choose which planet I put in? Yes. Yes. All right. Very big I, choice. I'm good. I'm going to pick the Death Star because I've heard of that. And I feel like that's, a, <laughs> that's an important thing in Star Wars lore. So what does the Death Star do? Because I kind of want to blow that thing up. Um, I, I it, did just buy an X-Wing. I just bought an X-Wing. <laughs> I, I regret this. Uh, so Death Star, fire when ready. If your opponent has an X-Wing, you lose the game. Oh, that's thanks. <laughs> uh, uh, spend $4 to destroy a capital ship your opponent has in play or a Ooh. capital ship in the galaxy route. And it comes with 16 life. Ooh, nice. A little beefy boy, huh? So, what we're going to do is... Oh, with the capital ships, is there a limit to how many you can have like no, in, in play? I don't believe so. Okay. All right. Um, let, uh... Okay. So what we'll do is we're going to put our capital ship into play, a blockade runner. Um, do I get the stuff on it right away? And I guess each turn, right? I get one attack, one of money with that. Uh, the blockade runner. Yeah, you get one attack and one money every turn. I got it cool. Um, all right. So what we'll do is with the blockade runner, I'll play a stormtrooper to do three damage to the X-wing in the row. Alrighty. So you get three money, and that gets refilled with a AT-AT. The AT. 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 AT.
Yeah, Reese that. doing well, just been chilling and waiting for that FFG reveal with the wall. Yeah, I think we're gonna get some tomorrow. I think tomorrow is gonna be when we when we finally get something new for champions. Also learning Astro Knight sometimes, so you can see how it compares to Aeon's End. I've been playing the heck out of Aeon's End. We just finished Aeon's End Legacy. Super phenomenal game. Really, really I enjoying Aeon's End right now. Dude, it's so good. It's so solid. That's what I hear, yeah. Um, okay, so what we'll do is throw away two more monies to get two two monies. You still have Legacy what? of Gravehold. You're so far behind... I we didn't play Legacy of Gravehold. We just played the original Legacy, and then the new one, the Kickstarter should be delivering soon, I think. But Legacy of Gravehold, I heard was better than the original Legacy, and so that's why I played the original Legacy first. But I, yeah, no, I I've been really impressed with Aeons, and every single time we pull out like a new Nemesis, it just blows my mind how they have figured out different ways to manipulate the mechanics of the game. And it's just it's just really cool. That is a game I want to get into so bad. It, it's it's we played the box, the core box at um PAX Unplugged. It yeah. was so much fun. Dude, it's so I loved good. it. It's so All right. Um so I wanna do two, three, four. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is play the Inquisitor and get a dollar or another monies. I'm gonna use the darts. Or Death Star ability, I'm going to spend four monies to destroy a capital ship your opponent has in play. Alrighty. Bye bye, C Rock. And then I'm going to spend three dollars to take the uh, cruiser. Yeah, let's take the cruiser. Alrighty. We got Luke Skywalker taking his place. Ooh, I can't wait to buy him. Alright, I'm done. I want Luke. Nope, it's mine. He's mine. Oh, bummer. <laughs> I ha I'm gonna get him over to the dark side. Two, three, four. Mm. If you had not destroyed my cruiser, I could have bought Luke. I know. I planned it all out that way. So. Uh meanie. <laughs> oh, okay. So you have. Uh, you have a cruiser in play. You have a cruiser in play. Yeah, it's got four life. Hashtag calculated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What do I want to do with my life now? Uh, oh, Beastno says he'll get it if... Okay. I So <laughs> I want to buy all in. I just want them to give me everything, and I just give them a credit card number that may or may not be mine. That's <laughs> that's my goal. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so let's uh let's do this what does your capital ship do what's its ability uh my capital ship is a one attack one money and then it just has some fun stuff at the bottom like fun text but it doesn't say like, oh, okay. real things. it doesn't do anything yeah wait can i can you see that oh it does focus okay that's fine oh nice that, that's all it is perfect i know yeah, slightly better camera. Now you can read stuff on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. It just doesn't work. None of it works. Okay, so I have four. Okay. Canadian, you were not supposed to tell anyone the second part of that sentence. Come on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got a rebel trooper and an X-Wing. For five fight, I'm gonna snipe Boba Fett, which gives me three no. money and two force points. So now no, the force double is with no. me. I'm going oh to utilize the X Wing to draw a card because the force is now with me. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Got two, four, five, eight. Hey Luke, how you doing? No, that's illegal. That's illegal. <laughs> So, so like I bought Luke. It gets in the face. <laughs> it gets replaced with the three cost Bosk neutral card. Luke, neutral. And did you wait? Did you replace uh, Boba? Oh no, I didn't. Boba is replaced. Or I guess. Oh, there's a Star Destroyer out there now. Let's uh -oh. go. New target. Uh -oh. <laughs> Seven monies. Okay. Nice. 
All right, is that it for you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Um, okay. So I'm going to play Director Krennic out there. So I get to draw two cards because my base is the Death Star. That's good. Card draw. Oh, really? That's awesome. That's really Yeah, cool. it would normally be one without the Death Star, but That's it's two. That's sick. That's Star. really cool. Um, I don't have to do his attack thing right away, right? I can, Correct. I can slowly do it. Okay, yeah, cool. you can do that whenever. Oh, ah, yes. Let me make sure that's done. All right. So let's, well, let's spend all of our monies to get money. Oh, I get one for the blockade runner. So mm -hmm. that's one. I'll throw away four monies. So three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Um, then Director Krennic gets us two more. That gives us two, four, six, seven. Come to me, Star Destroyer. No! That's sweet. Sweet, sweet Star Destroyer. IG-88 replacing it. Oh, IG-88, so sick. IG-88. Ugh. If only I had five more monies. Okay, so... <laughs> do you have a capital ship out? No, I do don't. not. Okay. Nope. And the force is not with me anymore because you stole it. I did. <sighs> okay. All right. Um, how much life does your ship have? Uh, fourteen. But I prevent the first two delta at each round. All right. So I'm gonna do two, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage to your ship. So seven to the ship. Yep. All right. That's it for me. Two, three, four. Cool. Okay, I'm going to play the Snow Speeder. Your opponent discards one card from your hand. I'm going to play the Snow Speeder. The, your opponent discards one card from their hand. Okay. Let me... Uh, okay. Discarded. Oh, wait. Was that two in a row? Sorry. Yeah, uh, discarded two. two. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um. So, then we got three money. We're going to go ahead and buy the Rebel Transport. And we're going to deal four to your ship. I block it. No, I need that. I need that. No. <laughs> also, so in Aeon's, just... Aeon's End, the, the, the gimmick, one of the gimmicks is that you never shuffle your deck. And so mm -hmm. playing through like 15 games over the last week, it's been, I just want to like pick this up and place it over here. I was like, that's not how this game works. I do it like that. <laughs> <else."> <laughs> I'm like carefully choosing how I'm discarding cards. I was like, I don't have to do that. I need to shuffle in this game. <laughs> <laughs> also, we've got a Nebulon B, uh, Nebulon B frigate, so it's a five cost neutral. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. All right, is that it for you? That is. Um. All right, so we're going to play all of our cards. We would get two monies, but I don't really have to worry about that because it's nothing I can buy. So we're going to do three, four, five, six, seven damage to you. So five coming in hot. Draw back up. Lose my money. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve out of 14. That's probably the only reason you haven't bought it. I don't know if you're smart enough to discard. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, like, it's... You just put the put the most expensive cards on the bottom and you're fine. Like usually yeah. it very rarely <laughs> nah, I don't I am not good enough to understand I don't count cards enough to, to figure out when I want to be doing that. So <laughs> <laughs> what's not to like about getting six hundred cards in one box? It comes in multiple boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we got the Duro Spy. Your opponent must choose to either discard a card from your hand or you get one force point. No, I will um I'll discard a card from my hand. Okay. I'm going to play two Alliance Shuttles for two more money. We've got Luke Skywalker, so two force points. No. And we got a Rebel Trooper. So you don't have. So a do you get that ship. one dollar? Would you get that one dollar right away? Or no, is it it's at the start of the round. round. This, at the start okay. of the round, yeah. Uh, you don't have a capital ship, do you? No, no, I do not. Okay, so I'm 
We will throw... How much damage does your base have left? Uh, 16. Okay, we'll throw 8 at it. Ugh, I have to count. All right. <laughs> 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. And honestly, I... 4 is not... Four is not a lot of money. I w I need more money. I know, right? <laughs> we have a really expensive Galaxy Row right now. I uh know. -huh. And none of us is shooting at it. Well, you can, how do you get rid of like the neutral cards? You can't, right? So not in the core rules. There is a variant in the rule book that you can say you can basically buy them off. Like I could spend three to discard Lobot. But I, I oh. think we wouldn't play with that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll wait until the next time we play to do that. All right. I honestly don't know if whatever I'm buying is going to get back into my deck because you're throwing a lot of damage at me really quickly. So I don't even know if I'm going to see whatever I buy. Uh, I'm just going to just gonna pass. Done? Okay. Yeah. All right. We're going to play Director Krennic uh, so we get to draw two cards because we still have the Death Star. Um, okay. So then we get to play. Uh, we're playing our Cruiser out there. Discard one card from your hand to draw one card. Do I have to do that, or is it an option? Like it's uh, an option. Yeah. So that that would be like one of those where you would exhaust it to say that you are. Um, oh, okay. All right. Um. Okay. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six monies. So two, three, four, five, six. Um. All right. I'm gonna spend six to get the ATAT. Nice. Comes in with the HWK290, which is a four cost neutral card. Oh, I love the HWK290. It's not <laughs> as good, I mean, it's not as good as the 300, but you know, it's, it's still not bad. All right, so we're going to do two attack. Uh, I'm going to do Inquisitor One Force, bring that force back a little bit. And then I'm going to do three, four, five damage onto your planet. Okay, so that will. Be enough to destroy Hoth. Let's go get out of here, Hoth. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. How much damage do you have left on your base? Uh, eight more, and I have a cruiser in the way for three. Ugh, gross. Yeah. Death Star, man. D20 definitely read the rules. No. <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I did like five minutes before stream. But and like by read, I mean like I glance at the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and you said uh, we can have two capital ships in play, right? Yeah, you can have as many as you would like. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. That, that will help. That will help. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. I don't quite know. You said you had eight left and a shield of uh, two, three. three. Yeah. Gross. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, no. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> pretty, pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> draw a card sorry i'm doing math because i think this probably well this very much affects the outcome of the game <laughs> <laughs> um trying to figure out if i want more health or or better effects mm. i like how you have all this strategy and i'm just like what does damage <laughs> yes more damage more fun <laughs> <laughs> No, I can't do 10. That'd be insane. <laughs> you should do it. Why not? Okay, we're going to choose uh, Jetta. So this is a 14-point base. While Jetta is your base, the first neutral card you purchase each turn goes to your hand, and then you have to exile that card at the end of your turn. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. Huh. Okay, we're going to drop the Sea Rock Cruiser. Ugh. So discard one card from your hand to repair three damage from your base. 
We got the X-Wing. The Force is with me, so I get to draw a card. We got... Okay, here we go. Let's go. Alrighty. Um, we've got the Jawa Scavenger for two. The Alliance Shuttles for two more, which gives me five. So I'm going to purchase IG-88. That's going to get refilled with the Landing Craft. I'm going to play IG-88. It goes to my hand because of my base. And now we're going to be throwing... 10 damage at you. So I think you have one damage left, which is very unfortunate. Which actually, hold up. I may be able to not do that. Uh, <laughs> I, may, I may be able to do something a little bit more effective. No, no that, that's good. No, that's well, it, yeah, it just thinks <laughs> leaving like one damage for you because then you have a whole turn. But yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, no. There you go. 10 damage at you. And then we'll I exile IG88. 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, 15 damage on the Death Star, but it survives. Okay. Barely. I needed. Oh, I did play an X Wing that turn. How thematic would that have been if I had, if I had destroyed it on the turn that I played the X Wing? I really kind of needed that cruiser in play, so I'm a little upset about that. Good. Um, Because I could have Star Destroyer Geo. All <laughs> right, so I'm, I'm going to. um. Play the headhunter. If your opponent has a capital ship, you draw a card, but we're out of cards, so I have to shuffle and draw a new one. Nice. Uh, draw a card. Okay, not what I wanted. Um, Alright, so we get three monies. Uh, the Star Destroyer comes into play. The Force is not with me. Okay. So I'm going to attack you for five... Okay, nine. So nine. So three and six rolls over. I don't know. You okay. have so much damage. It's insane. It's all about the damage, baby. <laughs> bigger, bigger number, better person. All right. So I already have three dollars. I'm gonna spend the three to get the Lobot. The Lobot. 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 That gets replaced with Han Solo. Ugh. Good guy, Hans. All right, and that is it for me. Very nice. Very nice. So you have the Star Destroyer in play? Yes, it has seven life. That's unfortunate. Twenty-four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play the two yeah. snow speeders, so discard two cards from your hand. No, I don't dislike. Dislike button. All I'm right, gonna do cards, Rebel God. Transport to heal two damage from my base. Dislike. And we've got two money, which we will go ahead and buy the outer rim pilot, which goes to my hand. We will play the Outer Rim Pilot mm. for two money and exile it for one force point. And we lose two resources, but that's fine. And four damage thrown to your Star Destroyer. No! Okay. How much life do you have left? I have ten. Plus two buffer. Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to play this. Gives us two money. Does nothing. It's completely useless. Yeah. Actually, is it? All right. So we're gonna play a bunch of things. Um. I want to buy Han. Han is mine, so you cannot. Buy I know, him. but okay. uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna just bribe him a little bit. I mean, he likes money, right? Like, yeah. I feel like I guess we'll do that. All right. So he's got five life. Eh. All right, I'm going to attack you for two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. Eleven damage. It's going to go destroy the rebel transport and roll nine, two, four, six, eight. Oof, my friend, you. I hope you win coming up. <laughs> I definitely will not because I have to destroy two more of your bases. So <laughs> <laughs> I have a fair amount of attack in my hand. I'll just warn you. Yeah. So I will, we can just call that game because I do not have enough to, to, well, you, you get a, you get a extra turn after this, no matter what, because you're going to get a new base and yeah. I don't have anything to buffer. So I, I have an AT, AT coming out with six attack and a director with three more attack. I get to draw a card. I get two more attack on top of that. That was insane. And then I, I just get money. 
I there was just like nothing I could do. I didn't even feel like I was close to keeping up with you with your attack. I got lucky with some bigger. The, the director card is actually really good. Um, yeah. Where you get to draw drawing the one card is nice, but then teaming that up with the Death Star, get two card draw on top of it. That's that was, nice. That was yeah. solid. Yeah. And that was kind of offsetting some of my discard that I had going for you. You want to play again and swap yeah. swap places? Yep. 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 I'll be the bad guys this time. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's see. Yeah, it's a fun little game. That's cool. Yeah, that that was. I would say that that was the least interesting game that I've played so far. I have to say that was the most interesting I've played. So. Well, I mean, that's the only. Play, but yeah, yeah, but it was still. A... <laughs> well, like you, that was a very fast game. Let me say that. Like, I feel like I didn't uh, okay. get to see a lot of the interactions that I'd seen in other games, and that just may be the play style, and that may be how you're supposed to play it. It's just play super fast. But, like, the uh, like there, there were a lot of really cool interactions that I have seen in other games that we did not see in this just because you were throwing 11 damage at me every single turn, and I just I couldn't keep up. <laughs> YOLO. All right, perfect. Uh, moth. Good old Moth. Make Moffin. Alright, landing craft. Pawn. Right. Cool. Uh, okay, so I'm just shuffling everything up. We'll get a new Galaxy yep. Rose set up. We will start with the Lothal and whatever the Rebel one is, whatever the Rebel scum base is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where is it? Court. No, I don't know where it is. I gotta find it. Uh, fighter, Fang Fighter. But yeah, no, that was good for a first. I hope they come out with like twenty expansions. I need yeah. something else to invest in. You I know, need just, I need Yoda. Well, no, what I need what I need oh, them yeah. to do is to take this IP and turn it into an LCG, and then yes, like who needs take some money? Just another mortgage on the house, and it'll be fine. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> With the interest rates the way they are, brilliant. Heck yeah. Okay. You guys have me looking at Aeon's End. Trapid is making me look at Sentinels of the Multiverse. Uh, I would say, I, I think I've said this before, but like I, I, I enjoyed Sentinels, but Aeon's End feels like a different game where Sentinels feels very similar to Champions to me. And I, like, I, I there are differences. Yes, yes, yes. But what I mean by that statement is whenever I'm playing Sentinels, I'm like, I kind of want to be playing Champions right now. Aeon's End, on the other hand, is sick. Yeah. And that, like I said, I've only played Aeon's End one time, Beast Note, but like, it's, it's, it lives to the hype. It is really good. I, I had high expectations for it, and it for sure like, met those expectations. Okay. So up here on Galaxy Row, we have our two. Gray cards are the Quarren Mercenary, which costs four, and the Keldor Mystic, which costs two. We have the my one blue card is a five cost Imperial Carrier, and then the three red cards are a one cost Y Wing, a one cost Y Wing, and then a five cost Cassian Andor. Excellent. This goes right into my strategy. <laughs> Already built it out. I've never played the Already Empire before, so this is my first time ever playing Empire. The other thing that I like is that I do feel like the two factions play differently. Like they, they the cool. cards interact yeah. differently, and so that that's pretty fun. Does one win all the time and one lose? Because we'll find out. Um <laughs> so so current uh initial meta is that the rebels typically win that being said i think the rebels mm. play more similar to a traditional deck building style than the empire does and so i think that's why they win more for like okay. newer players gotcha so all right and you get to go first right i get to go first empire goes first we got the Stormtrooper that's coming out here. We're going to shoot two and destroy this Y-Wing, which is going to give me one money. That's going to be filled in with Princess Leia. And then we've got Ooh. four more money, plus this one to buy an Imperial Carrier. 
And that's going to be filled in by a two cost scout trooper. Your turn. All right, Princess Leila. What what was the scout trooper that came in? Uh, two cost Empire scout trooper. What? Who did you take out? One of the Y wings. Uh, ooh, no, uh, the the capital ship. Imperial carrier. Yeah. Trooper two cost. Okay. 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 Scout trooper. All right. Cool. So. Let's do Oops, wrong deck. Uh one, two, three monies. I gotta change my head. I'm I'm now the other people. <laughs> um okay, so we can then do four. All right, let's take four money. Jeez, um, okay. Wow, there's a lot of exile cards. Yeah, there are. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let's... All right, so when you buy Outer Rim Pilots, they go straight to your hand or they go to your discard pile? Uh, They go to your discard pile. Last time, I had the base where when I bought a gray card, it went to my hand. Oh, that's right. All right, so we're going to buy two Outer Rim Pilots and throw them in the discard. And then I'm going to do two damage to you. Yeah, I'm just going to do it to you. Worked okay. out well last time. Two, three, four, five. Same <laughs> strategy, baby. Okay. So I've got three money. I've got an Inquisitor and a Stormtrooper. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's go with... A stormtrooper for two. We're gonna take out the Y wing, which gets refilled with a X wing. That's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> gives me one, and then I got four. I'm going to buy the Corn Mercenary. When you purchase this unit, exile one card from your hand or discard pile. I'm going to exile a Imperial shuttle. And then that's going to get filled in with a Rodian Gunslinger. Looks like Han's about to kill him. And then we've got one Inquisitor for one Force Point. And that's me. Um, okay. What do I have different than you? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. You don't have a Rodian gunsling Rodian gun gunslinger. Who did he replace? He replaced a Y Wing. No. He replaced a the uh, Corn Mercenary. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, cool, 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 cool. So let us do one, two, three, four. Let's do four monies. Um, I'll spend the three to get the X Wing. Okay. X Wing, and that gets replaced with a TIE Bomber. Is that you? Yeah, that's a two cost Empire card. Okay. Um, and then. Card from your hand or discard pile. Okay, then we'll use a rebel trooper to do two 
damage to you. Okay. And that's it for me. Okay. We're going to play the Imperial Carrier. That is a capital ship with five health. That gives me three resources. We are going to go Stormtrooper for two damage. Uh, not not necessarily assigning it to... Well, I will assign it to you. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I may. I may not. Well, you should buy that. Just left out there. <laughs> <laughs> because I can, I, can, I can buy stuff, and if something comes out that I want to kill, that also, that also helps. Mm. So I got five money, which is kind of interesting. We're going to spend two to take this TIE Bomber. That's going to get replaced with a Gazanti Cruiser. We're going to spend three to take the Cruiser. Which gets replaced with a Star Destroyer. Hey. <laughs> how, how, how are you doing? Um, and then we've got the Inquisitor and a Stormtrooper. When I play the Inquisitor, I get to choose... I'm going to choose one fight. I'm going to throw three damage at you. Three damage. Okay. Cool. Is that everything? Yep. Alright. I'm going to take my six monies and buy Layla. Leia? Nice. Not Layla. It's replaced with the Z95 Headhunter. Is that neutral? Yeah, that's a one-cost neutral. Oh, I love that Z95 Headhunter. <laughs> um, all right, and then I'm going to do three damage to your... Well... Yeah, I'm going to do three damage to your, I guess, whatever guard ship thing. Cool. Two. Three. All righty. Me? Yep. I get three money. We've got four more money. I'm going to spend seven to buy the Star Destroyer. Ugh. That's going to be replaced with the Duro Spy. Exile What's one that? card from your hand or discard pile. It's a two cost um, uh, Rebel. It's a two cost Rebel. And then we've got four damage, which I will throw at you. That puts you at one life left. Or, yeah. Yep. That's annoying. Annoying. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Excellent strategy by me. Uh, <laughs> all right. So. Four. Huh. Interesting. All right. I'm going to get my three dollars. Um. I'm going to use one to get the headhunter. Okay. That's going to get replaced with a Jawa scavenger. Is that two cost? That's a one cost. cost neutral. Oh, but one cost. Okay. Um, so we'll use next. Uh, yeah, we'll use $2 to get the Rodian gunslinger. Alrighty. That's going to get replaced with the TIE Fighter. Alright. And then I'm going to use the Temple Guardian to get one force toward me. Okay. Move it to oh, the middle. Perfectly and then balanced as all do... things should be. As all things should be. <laughs> um, I am going to do... about this i'm gonna rebel trooper the scout or i'm gonna rebel trooper shoot the uh scout trooper so i can exile one card from your hand or discard pile i'll take one from my discard pile okay that gets replaced with a two cost rebel snow speeder and that's that's gonna be it for me okay so i will take three money dude i have so much fight right now this is dumb <laughs> Um, yeah. I'm going to play the Gonzanti Cruiser. I'm going to play the Star Destroyer. I will <laughs> discard the Stormtrooper to draw a card. Okay. I've got the TIE Bomber. When I play it, or I guess I could discard a card from the row right now. Um, 
we will go ahead and discard the Duro Spy. No, okay. we'll we'll discard the Snow Speeder. Snow Speeder. Okay. That gets replaced with a Blockade Runner. Okay. Uh, neutral. Yeah, neutral for cost. Okay. We've got seven damage going at Cassian. Oof. So Cassian's GG's. So I get That's two force points and three money. Okay. And it gets replaced with a Rodian Gunslinger. I am going to... I'm going to go the Quarren Mercenary to shoot you to destroy your base. Sad. Yeah. Um, and we are going to play the Imperial Shuttle for one money. And now we are going to start looking at buying some stuff. It seems like capital ships are good. Yeah. So I'm going to spend one to buy a TIE Fighter. It's going to bring out the Rebel Transport. I'm going to spend four to buy the Blockade Runner. It's going to draw me into Moff uh, Jerjerad. Look at the top card of the Galaxy deck. If the Force is with you, you can swap that card with a card from the Galaxy Row. I'm going to spend four to buy him. And he gets replaced with a four-cost Hammerhead Corvette, a Rebel capital ship. All right. So let's see what you got out there. You got a Rebel Transport. You got the Corvette. Gunslinger, yes. TIE Fighter, no. Blockade Runner, no. So that should be the two, right? Duro Spy is still out there. Kelmore and Jawa. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, Maddie, how's it going? Okay. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Yes. Okay. So, what we'll do. My turn, right? Yep. Okay. So when you destroy people from Galaxy Row, it just goes in the discard pile, right? Yeah, that's correct. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to play Tatooine. When, Tatooine. when we reveal Tatooine, we swap a card in Galaxy Row with a Rebel card from the Galaxy Pile, and we gain one money. Okay. I want to get rid of the Jawa Scavenger to put Cassian Andor back in the play. He's back for me to shoot him again. Wait. Say. That feels like a very Cassian thing, though, right? Like, take him out. He's like, oh, I'm not dead yet. He, he's the Captain yeah. America. I can do this all day for the Star Wars universe. <laughs> exactly. All right, so we got $2 <laughs> boy, from Leia. Jawa is in the middle of a galactic conflict, but sure. <laughs> uh, two, one, two, three. Okay, so we get two force points with Leia. Okay, so neutral again. Just neutral. Okay. Um. So, with Leia, what we can do is purchase a Rebel card from the Galaxy Row for free. If the Force is with you, place that card on top of your deck, but the Galaxy is not with us. So Dude, I, that I seems purchased... insane. That's so good. That's awesome. I uh, know. So, Cassian's now purchased. Cassian is purchased. That gets replaced with a Millennium Falcon. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> Uh, can I not sell something for a dollar like a kidney? All <laughs> right, so let's spend four on the hammerhead. Okay, that's gonna get replaced with a three cost X wing rebel. There's so many rebel stuff out there now. I yes. hate it. And then we'll we'll buy the rebel transport for two. Okay, that's gonna get replaced with a Chewbacca. <laughs> All right. Wait, is he a neutral? He's not a rebel, right? No, he's a rebel. Oh, he is. Okay, good. Good. As he should be. <laughs> All right. If you have another unique unit, imply draw one card. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Then I could do four damage. Um, I guess we'll just do four. Can I pick the ship I hit, or is it up to you? That's actually a really good question. I think you picked the ship, but let me. Let me take a look. Resolve an attack. Attacking an opponent's base. Each capital ship your opponent has in play must be destroyed. Uh, to resolve an attack, 
Total the attack value of all the units and capital ships you have committed to the attack. They That many damage encounters from the supply, that is the total amount of damage you deal to your opponent. This damage must be dealt and applied in the following manner. Each capital ship your opponent has in play must be destroyed before damage can be applied to their base. Um, when a capital ship has damage counters... Mm, If an opponent has more than one capital ship in play, you decide how the damage is distributed amongst the ships. Okay. Um, okay, so I have four damage. I'll do two is to the, the one that's about to get knocked out. Okay, so the Imperial Carrier is gone. And then I'll do two to that middle one as okay, three so life. The cruiser. And that's it for them, me. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I get two money here. I'm going to discard an Imperial Shuttle to draw a card. Okay. Okay. Like the Millennium Falcon, I can destroy it, but it says to purchase a card of your faction for free, and there are no cards of my faction. <laughs> so it's like, okay, well, I don't want to leave it out there, but I also don't want <laughs> fun stuff. Okay, let's do Inquisitor for one fight, and we're going to hit Chewbacca and destroy it and for three force points. And then uh. that's going to come back with the Nebulon B Frigate. Nebula? That's the wrong IP. So, uh, who's the Empire and who's the Alliance? I am currently playing Empire, and Jason is playing the Dirty Rebel Scum. Yeah, I don't really like us either. <laughs> um, I'm going to spend three Imperial Shuttles to go ahead and buy the B Frigate, which is going to pull in a Blaze. Or... How, how do you say that? Blaze? 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 Base, yeah. maybe a long yeah, yeah. Base <laughs> Malboss. Base Malboss. He's from um Rogue One, right? He's the Rogue One guy. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh wait, your your bases are supposed to go into a victory pile? The uh the Oh bases. the base, the base, yeah, not, not, not the, the not the capital not, ship. Not the capital ships, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Those I was are like, oh worse. I played that wrong. Those yeah, I totally crushed you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to shoot the Duro Spy. I'm going to exile a Imperial Shuttle. And that's going to get refilled with a Jawa Scavenger. Your turn. Okay. Let us get three monies. I'm going to spend the $3 to get the X-Wing. Okay. That's going to get refilled with a Mon Calmari Cruiser. Dude, I'm just ready for another Empire card to show up. We haven't seen an Empire oh. card in a hot second. I, I threw them all out. We, but I mean, to be fair, we saw a lot of Empire cards right there at the beginning. So That's true, yeah. yeah. The force balances itself. <laughs> As it should. Um all right, so then I can exile the Outer Rim Pilot and get one Force. Nice. Okay, so that pulls it one away from me. Oh, shoot. I should have done that first. Uh, if your opponent has a capital ship uh, in play, draw one card. Cool. Oh, more Star player. Destroyers. Yes, give me more. Right. Give me more of them. We'll get, we'll get $2, and I'll buy Blaze, Baze, Baz, Baze, Bazaar. Biz, biz, uh, and we got an X-Wing. <laughs> Good. Hilarious. All right. 
Uh, I'm just giving you stuff to shoot, though. That, that's like helpful to but, you. But like the thing, it, it when I shoot things, it gives me money. But I don't have anything to buy. <laughs> <laughs> I've killed everything could, that destroys stuff. <laughs> you could buy a Jawa scavenger. Um, okay. Uh, you know that's not a bad idea. I'm gonna get this. All right, I'm gonna do Imperial four shot. damage. Okay. So f I'm gonna do one to the one ship that has one left, and then obviously the rest of the the rest of it. The star destroyer. Oh, wait, wait, So it's a two and a two. So it can't be – that two damage can't be split up, right? Uh, It can. So it cannot oh, yeah, be okay. split up to different cards in the galaxy row, but it can be split oh. up uh, to capital ships on my side of the table. All right. So, yeah, then I hit you with four. Sweet. Okay. Okay, so Energy. I'm going to play the Imperial Carrier, which is going to give me three money. While Imperial Carrier is in play, each of my fighter units gain plus one fight. Got Moth, Jer Gerard. Look at the top card of the Galaxy deck. If the Force is with you, you can swap that card with a card from the Galaxy Row. It's a Jabba Sail Barrage. <laughs> that sounds kind of fun. Do I have any Bounty <laughs> Hunters? The Rodian Gunslinger is a Bounty, bounty Hunter. I feel like you shot one earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it probably did. That sounds like me. Uh, <laughs> we're going to... I'm going to swap that with the Falcon. No. Not my Falcon. It gives me two money. Um, I've got two more money. Two, four, six, seven. I could buy the sail barrage. I don't know if I want the sail barrage though. Yo, get it. Treat yourself. Come on. Treat, you. Treat yourself. <laughs> um, okay, fine. We'll we'll buy the sail barrage. <laughs> Why not, right? And the falcon yeah, right? comes back out. And then I'm going to do four eight damage to you. Uh pass on that damage. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. I would like to return. Is the Death uh, Star of Death in is the Death Star of Death in this game or is that too OP? <laughs> it's too OP. Uh eight damage, you said? Yep. Yeah, but the Death Star worked great last game. It was actually pretty clutch to take out your yeah. like, capital fleet things. Yeah, the Death Star was epic. Alright. Uh my turn? Or are you are you it's going you. still? Yep, it's you. Okay. Alright, so we'll play the Rebel Transport. Um we'll play the money guy. It gives us two. Alliance Shuttle gives us another one. Uh, the Force is with me, so I get to draw a card. The Force is not with okay. you. Isn't it? Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. This is one towards me. I did, I never flipped it around. I killed Chewie, which gave me like all the Force. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Okay. It's, it's one away from my, my furthest spot. Okay, so... Okay, I don't draw that card. That's fine. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, okay, okay, guys. Two. I'm going to buy the X-Wing. Okay. X-Wing gets replaced with a landing craft. Hey, look! 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 It's it's an Empire card. Do I shoot it now or do I shoot it later? <laughs> Aww. Uh, so, so, yeah, the, the Force Tracker should be, I think, one more. On your screen. Towards me. Really? It's that far? Yeah, Chewie gave me three. It swung. Because it was neutral and mm. Chewie brought it all the way over. Okay. Um, let us... Alright, so Rebel Transport's going to heal two damage. So we're going to heal two of my cards. Uh, I'm going to exile the Outer Rim Pilot to get one force back toward the middle. Okay. <sighs> Chewie did not bring balance to the force. <laughs> he brought balance oh, yeah, to the force in my favor. <laughs> um, all right, we're going to do five damage first onto the Star Destroyer. And then okay, so four left. and then one rolls over to the Imperial Carrier. Okay. And then uh, that's it for me. Okay. We are going to get three money from the Carrier. I'm going to play the Nebulon B Frigate. We are going to get the mercenary, the stormtrooper, 
I guess the Imperial Shuttle. Got four, six, seven. We have seven damage if we wanted it. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to throw seven damage at you. Okay, so two gets absorbed by the Rebel Transport. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, so that's five damage on the mud. Okay. Planet or whatever. Yeah. The B Frigate is going to repair three damage from Lothal. And okay. I got four money. Get I'm... that Jawa. Dude, I like, I don't, I don't care about any of these things. <laughs> None of these bring balance to my force. Um, oh, I, oh shoot. No, I'm going to spend two to buy the, the gunslinger because I have that card that deals with gunslingers now. And it's going to re get replaced by a blockade runner, which is a four cost neutral capital ship. And we're just going to toss the rest of the stuff. And stand up. Um, okay, cool. All right, my turn. Yep. All right, so what we're going to do is win. Ooh, I like that. Seems it's, like a, it's a fairly... bold strategy, but I think we could do it. All right, so Leia is going to bring two to the force for me. Okay. Boom. So now it's on my side, right? It is on your side, yes. Excellent, as it should be. Oh, oh you could just three, buy the four, Falcon. Five. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Yes. So I get the Falcon for free from Leia. Definitely. And I, since the Force is with me, I could place it on top of my deck. Cool. It gets replaced with Grand Moth Tarkin, which is the Leia Grandma. version of the Empire. Grandma Tarkin. Is Leia okay. a Jedi? Is Leia a Jedi traded? Uh, officer. Officer. Uh, Maddie, the way that you win this is we have bases, and you win once you destroy your opponent's third base. There is a hand of bases, and after you destroy a base, you get to choose one of the other bases to put in play at the start of your next turn. Alright, we're gonna do four damage onto the landing craft card, so I can get four money. Okay. That is going to... Come on, someone get replaced get, with a landing landing craft. No, I just I just <laughs> no. Fucking landing crafts coming from everywhere. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we're gonna spend six to get that shuttle thing. One, two, okay. three, four, five, six. The cruiser. The cruiser. Yeah. It's gonna get replaced by Admiral Piet. No. No Admiral. Okay, and then we have three dollars left. Um, don't I don't like anything. <laughs> Is this how you felt for so long? Yeah, pretty much. I don't like it. No, no I don't. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna throw away the money. I don't need it. Okay. Okay. We are going to. Hmm. Let's go ahead and play a TIE Fighter. We'll use the. Actually, hold on. I need to get the three money from the Capital Shipper. We'll use the TIE Fighter to draw a card. So I will shuffle and draw. How much, uh, how much health does your base have over there? I have three left. Three left. I. So I'm thinking that it may be smarter to remove damage. Maybe maybe when playing virtually. Because like that's what I do in Arkham. I don't place damage on the card. I, I remove damage. Because it's easier for yeah. me to count, like see, oh, I have three damage to deal left. That may be smarter to do. You know what I, I should do? We'll do this next time. Is I could put the virtual counter like we do for oh, our Marvel yeah. games and whatnot. Yeah. And I can, can just control mine and you can control yours and then that will make life easier. That That's smart. That's smart. Okay. Um, so I have all the fight. So I'm going to play a blockade runner. She's going to give me money. I'm going to play a Java sail bridge. She's going to allow me to get a 
bounty hunter. Actually, oh yeah. Oh, that, that would be cool if I could buy a bounty hunter and then use the sail bridge to bring it back. Um, mm. We are going to, I guess we have two more money here. We have the bomber. We're going to blow up Keldor Mystic. And that's going to get replaced with a, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this name, but three damage guy. But he's going to go. He's going to die soon. Um, no, uh, come no. on. <laughs> um, we'll go three go. damage sure. here. Sure. And that's going to give me two force points. It's going to get... Um, On your side by one, right? Yeah, yeah on my side by one. We're going to use the TIE Bomber to destroy the B-Wing. No. Got General like Veers. If you have a trooper or vehicle in play, draw one card. May goose to that. Um, we got four damage to your base. Oh, wait. General Veers. Four damage knocks out my base, right? We said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And I've got two, four, six. Two, four, six. For a Tarkin. That's going to get replaced with a Sea Rock Cruiser. We're going to spend three to grab the Sea Rock Cruiser. And that's going to be mine. And it's going to get replaced with an AT-80. -AT. Dips, by the way. Dips. Dip. I'm going to throw away the money. I don't need it things. I never said in champion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring in Solist as my last point. Okay, so. What does that do? You, it, uh, while Solist is your base, place the first card you purchase each turn on top of your deck. Nice. Well, we'll see if we actually purchase anything. That's, <laughs> that's the tricky thing. Okay, so you have Blockade. Uh, landing gear craft you had. The Admiral, is that who you got rid of? No, he's still out there. Jawa's still out there. Veer's still out there. Grand something is gone, right? For the AT-AT? -AT? Uh, Grand Moth? Grand Moth. Yes. AT-AT. -AT. Moth Tarkin okay. is gone. All right, now it's time to win, I think. So first thing we do is play a Millennium Falcon. Ah. Um we get two money there. So add a unique card from your, or add a unique unit from your discard pile to your hand. I'm going to add Leia. Leia will come into play. Uh, uh, Leia comes into play. We could do two force to bring the force back on our side. Nice. I'm going to put the X-Wing into play. So if the, f oh, uh, we did that. If the force is with you, draw one card. It is with me. Uh, let's use this card. So that's one money. Leia, we get two money for. Uh, nobody else has money, right? Yeah. Okay. What we'll do is the Rodian Gunslinger is going to do four damage to the landing craft because he gets two, but he gets plus two more when his unit gains two when attacking the uh, the Galaxy Row. Okay. Landycraft is destroyed and it gets replaced with an ATST. <laughs> that doesn't sound like something I have. <laughs> How much is that ATST? Four. ATST. Okay. Not what I was hoping for. Um, okay. So then we have. Do you have a capital ship? Oh, you do. I have three. I'll play yeah. that. No, that's perfect. So I get to draw another card. All right, Hammerhead, we're going to put that into play. Doing so, we get two more money. Can't wait to buy this Jawa. <laughs> okay. So, um, Exile this cat. What, what kind of capital ship action? A lot. A lot. All right, let's spend a dollar to buy the Jawa Scavenger. Okay. That's going to uh, get replaced with a IG-88. Is that, is that neutral? It's a neutral five cost. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. We're going to spend five to buy that. Okay. That's going to get replaced with a uh, HWK-290 four cost neutral card. 
Um, I'm going to buy that. Okay. That's going to get replaced with a eight cost neutral job of the hut. Ugh, come on. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Um, all right. So we have damage now. So what we'll do is we will do, we did this already. Two, four, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to do 14 damage to you. Okay, so uh, that destroys all of my ships and rolls one to Lothal. Perfect. That is what I choose to do then. Nice. All right, that's the end of my turn. Two, three, four. Okay. We're going to play Star Destroyer. I'm going to play Rodian Gunslinger. I'm going to play Moth. Look at the top card of the Galaxy deck. If the Force is with you, you can swap that card. I'm not going to... But I know what it is now. Ha ha ha. Hi. Uh, <laughs> two. You got you got a hammerhead, which is Yeah, four life. Four life. So we'll throw four, eight, um, eleven damage your way. Alright, so four. Um we say eleven? Eleven damage. So that's yeah. Seven left? Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, I have two money, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend anything. Ooh, interesting strategy. All right, my turn. Yep. I will play Java, and this to get three money for. Reasons, I guess. Okay. The force is with me, so I get to draw a card. Nice. Okay, so I get another money. That was useful. Um, okay, so we'll spend the four dollars to get the blockade runner. Okay. That's gonna get replaced with a six cost rebel mon calamari cruiser. Mm, okay. Um, okay. So we're gonna do the force is with me, right? By one. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do nine damage. Nine damage. So that's going to destroy the Star Destroyer and roll two over to Lothal. Okay. Okay. I've got six damage coming in at you. Six. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And that's it. So that's four. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen out of sixteen. Oh, I'm hanging on. <laughs> nice. Let's go. All right. So what we're gonna do is get four, five, six money. Four, five, six money. Then I'm gonna exile the HWK two ninety to repair four damage from your base. Nice. Big time Jeez. players make big time plays. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right. <laughs> so two. Four, six. All right, we'll spend all six to get the Mon Calamari Cruiser. Okay, that's going to get replaced with a three-cost Gonzanti Cruiser. Uh, that's an Empire card. Of course it is. And then <laughs> I'm going to do uh, seven damage. Okay, that's going to destroy Lothal. Oh, thank God. At least it's not a complete washout. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are going to Okay, we're going to play Corellia. When you reveal Corellia, purchase an Empire neutral card from the Galaxy Row for free and add it to your hand. We're going to take the AT80. -AT, and then we've got 8 damage. Is that lethal? 8 9 uh, eight damage is lethal. Yeah, okay. uh, seven does it. That felt well, really that... one-sided for the Empire, two games in a row, which is the exact opposite of everything I've been seeing online. So that's kind of interesting. We found new meta. Just straight up attack, like just it massive attack. Pretty good, unless I'm just completely <laughs> missing a rule, which is absolutely totally a possibility. But 
So so okay. I, mean, I, w- I want to hear your thoughts. You've played two games now. What what do you, what do you think of the mechanics behind it? I like it. I like I like simple games, right? I like simple head to head games. I think it's easier to get the table and easier to convince people to play. Mm, yeah. um, so it's fun. It's a it's it's really simple. I know you. you I know you were like, oh, it's gonna be a simple game, but I thought it'd be a little more than this. Mm. Like I wish there was more ways to defend. Okay. Um, that's the one thing I wish. Like, I know you can get those ships out there, but it just feels like they're so rough to get sometimes. So if you're just aggressive right out of the gate and get through that first planet really fast, like before somebody can get a capital ship, like I feel like that's just so beneficial. In yeah, general. yeah, yeah. Um, I really but, like I really like the bounty hunting out of the galaxy row. I just think that's such a cool mechanic. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like so the one thing that, that stunk was. In the beginning, all your cards, when I was doing the bounty hunting thing, was all, like, excising my cards. In the very beginning, I didn't want to do that yet. Right. So, like, I didn't want to yep. knock any of them out. Versus the <laughs> now, it's all, like, force stuff, which would help. Or purchase a card for your faction for free. Like, some of that stuff would be useful. So, yeah. I just got a bad draw, I think, at the beginning. And it would have mm-hmm. been a little more even, maybe. Um, yeah. But, yeah. No, it's it's a cool mechanic. Like, I really like it. Yeah. I... I, I really like the the bases, that mechanic. One of the other uh, variants that they have in the rulebook is to, I think it's pick four bases at the beginning of the game. And then those are your bases. So you have to choose the bases before you've ever constructed mm. a deck. But now it's, you know, first to five, like the, the initial and then the four that you chose before the game. Yeah. I, wonder, I, I wonder if that would have some variants. I That'd mean, like it's it's a longer game. You get to see a little bit more. The, I I'm just surprised that it was so one sided for the Empire when everything that I've seen, which probably means that it's a fairly balanced game, <laughs> would be yeah, which yeah is good because I because to be honest, like right now, like if I was playing my next turn, right, um, I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thir- I have thirteen attacks sitting in my hand now, so yeah. like I'm finally to the point where like. I'm starting to do the damage. And right. I could have put a unique card in, which would have been IG-88. So I could put him in, which is another five damage. That's 18 damage I could have done. Um, which would have I been felt an like entire, I was a little behind you. Yeah. yeah, which would have been an entire um, planet, which would have been an entire yeah. base on my yeah. on my part. Um, one of the things that, I mean, like, and this is true for every single deck builder, but I didn't buy cards a lot of the time. I focused on destroying cards well because i didn't have the option but i think kind of forcing me into not buying cards helped me a lot because i was drawing into the the cards that my my better cards which is the thing that we talk about in champions all the time smaller deck is better but so it's just it's just interesting it it feels like you know empire's the big damage rebels has kind of all these skirmish modes and but i i've been enjoying it i i think it's cool but I, th- I think you're right, too, because, like, this is a much thicker deck this I-, I had this time, and it's just, I mean, there was so many dead hands versus being able to get Cassian and Leia and the Millennium Falcon in and out, like, a lot more just would have yeah. helped so much. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's definitely moving forward. That would have been my next strategy is just, just don't just buy to buy, I guess. Yeah. Also, what I what I think is cool is that we went through over half this entire Galaxy deck. Yeah. Right, there's yeah. a big galaxy deck, but you will see a majority of the cards in your game, which is pretty cool. Yep, which is like that is cool. So, like, you have all these cards that combo with, um, you know, like Millennium Falcon combos with Han and all of and Leia kind of combo together. It's like that's very, mm-hmm. very possible that you would see that in more games than you would not see that. And I appreciate right. that. Right. Yeah, cool. that's pretty cool. Well, excellent. Jason, thank you so much for playing. Where can everyone find you? Uh, what am I called? Oh, yeah, D21. <laughs> That's right. So uh, find me on YouTube, and YouTube leads you to everything else, like Twitch and all that fun stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's the best place to find me is there. I'm going to put your... There's oh, all yeah, your name. stuff in the Twitch chat. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. I hope that it was an interesting stream for you all, and I hope that it... it uh, yeah, was entertaining as it was for us playing. So thanks for everyone for hanging out. And I will see you all on Friday for some of the Arkham Horror Scarlet Keys. Peace, everyone.